And so here's what you want to do first. Here's, here's, here's an example. And you'll want to do this. Like, in fact, let me, let me show you, let, let, like, let's really look at this. Let me pull up your personal page as well, because both pages are, are just as important. What's your, um, what's your, your personal page? Oh, my personal page is fictitious. It's uh, Kirk Mason. K-I-R-K, Kirk. Cause, yeah, because when I did this, I didn't want to create a personal page. I just wanted a business page. That's right. That's right. That's right. But but are you still, but are you active on that page? No. At all. Okay. At all, at all. Okay, perfect. So then forget about the, forget about the personal. Okay. So then here's what you want to do. Here's what, here's, here's what I'm going to have you do. Step one. Step one is since you're, you're going to choose one name, that's what it's all about is one name. So over here, we're already we're already mismatched. We're already confusing the market. We got we got buy or sell with Kevin for the username. We got ca homes by kev.com for the dot com. And then we got K underscore my vet at Yahoo. Mm -hmm. So the inconsistency in the in the name is is what is what is what throws it all off. And and this is just basic. This is super basic. This is this ain't no law. I mean, I'm just trying to step the brand up. This one name, whatever the one name is we bring to the marketplace, we need to lock that name on everything. So, for example, with with my client over here, Candy. Well, first of all, I'm going to take you back to the personal page. Like, let me just show you from the personal to the business. So on the personal, this is her intro. And I'm telling you, 99.99% of real estate agents, go to all your friends right now, all your friends that you got as agents, go to their page. Just click on it for the hell of it, the personal page. Any friends that you may be with on the on the Kirk page, click on it for the hell of it and come look at their intro. None of them look like this. And this this is just basic. This is basic branding. So right away, what you'll see on most agents' pages is this link will be their brokers. So this is taking me straight to Coldwell's business page. So the majority of people that are friends with that person are liking Coldwell's page. That's mm -hmm. mistake number one. Most don't even put their own personal or their own you know business page. They put their brokers. So right here, that's her, that's her business page. But then most importantly, the one name that she's bringing to the marketplace is Hedge Properties. So what she did is she literally went the extra step and she customized every platform. Because the last thing you wanna do is over here with buy or sell with Kevin, the last thing you wanna do, watch, for example, let me, I'm gonna show you right now. If you don't got that for everything else, then, then I wouldn't even recommend it for Facebook. We need that for everything. So what tends to happen is you'll end up getting that one name. And because we didn't lock it on everything else, someone else got it on LinkedIn. Let's see if someone else got it. So actually, no one, no one got it. So that's good. No one got it. That's good. Let's check Instagram. Let's, let's hope um, no one. No. You, got it, you got it on Instagram? Um. No, my Instagram is uh, Kevin, my vet, RE. Type yeah. that in. Okay. So this is, this is available on Instagram. It's all, also available on, on um, LinkedIn. And it's, let's see if it's available on Twitter. It might be too long. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's too long for Twitter. Twitter is 15 characters. So it's not, um, actually, look, actually, no, it doesn't. Well, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Yeah, it's too long for Twitter, anyways. So LinkedIn, you have the Facebook page. Get the Instagram. You don't have to start up a whole new account. And and also with your Instagram, your name can stay at the top. Like your name. Like your name can stay at the top. Like like this, for example. Here's my name right here. So my name is on the page as well for sure. But the username. The username is my one name that I'm branding. Okay. So, so can you, can you do me a favor? So, in the search button right there for Instagram, uh, type in Kevin my vet re. No, no, there, there, there it is. Yeah. 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 See, so, so again, you got this as your name. This is what you have uh, as, as a name with the, with the business page is the same thing. So over here, this is the, your name on the page, the title of the page. And that could be anything. So LinkedIn, Instagram, this is it for Instagram right here. The title could be anything. What I'm referring to is the username. 
Okay. The username. You want that to be matching with everything. So this right here, these are her usernames. And so when it comes to your demographics, your ideal client, client, nine out of 10 of them are going to be on these top five, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Even if you don't know one darn thing about Pinterest, set it up. Like you, you, you got to, you got to lock the name. That's what it's all about. Just locking the name, making sure no one else could take that name. And then getting it listed because you never know, man, people are going to find you on Facebook. And again, and, and so this is her, her, her personal page, but let me show you the business page. People are going to find you on Facebook. Let's say they find your business page. Let's say you're running ads on your business page and then boom, they come to your page and they, they see that you're on LinkedIn. They see that you're on Pinterest. They happen to be on Pinterest 15 hours a day. So they click on Pinterest, they connect with you there, they message you there because they're more comfortable messaging you there. And you better hope you get that message, right? Not everyone's mm-hmm. gonna get a message you on Facebook. Like not everyone even likes Facebook. Just because you found them there, don't think they ain't spending time over here. And so as a brand, I just wanna make sure you can find me. As a brand, I wanna make sure I got that one name so it looks good. As a brand, I don't wanna miss any message when it pertains to buying and selling real estate. So, so if, if anyone's going to, going to message me, it's going to be on one of these platforms and just, just get it, get it, get them all up and just, and, and, and rock with one name. So it's either going to be, this is the username, Kevin, my, my, my vet RE, either that's the username. So you're going to come over here to Facebook and change this, right? You're going to come over here and change this. If that's the name you're going to run with, um, because you just want to match everything. So again, with, with Candy, look, this is her business page. Hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Even the email, hedge properties. Even the dot .com, hedge properties. So um, for Instagram, I can go into the account and, and change the um, Kevin My Vet RE or have to create an oh, yeah. account? No, for sure. Like, let me show you. So if I come to my profile over here, all I'm going to do is click on edit profile. And this is the name. So again, you got your name on the page. What I just want to change, you that, that could be your name right there. All I want to change and customize are the usernames. Okay, I see. So so I want it to be Instagram.com forward slash and that customized username. And and I want the same for the website address, the same dot com for that web for the for the for the for the username. Whatever we're bringing to the marketplace, that one username. You know, so um, this is just the difference. And, and, and again, all it is is aesthetics. All it is, is is what the human eye sees. I see one name. Okay, cool. I can remember that. Hedge Properties. Buy, buy or sell with Kev. Oh, shit, I can remember that. I can find you anywhere online. I can find you any social media plat- platform. Buy or sell with Kev. Okay, cool. I'll hit you up on Twitter. You know what I mean? It's like that one name. Okay. So, like, I, ha- I currently have a Gmail account. Um my agent can have a Gmail. So can I link that new name if I were to switch it to buyer sell buyer seller uh, with Kev at Gmail? I have to create a new account, or can I just mask it? Or how does that work? No, you would just you would just um, again if you already have it, then use that for everything. But it's just if it's taken, then you'll want to get a different one. But but at the same time, what you can do also is once you get the dot com, like especially through GoDaddy, if you get the dot com then you can always use that as your email. And then you can forward that to any Gmail that you want to tell you the truth. So, okay. so Kevin at CA homes by Kev.com. You know what I mean? Like that should yeah. be, that should be the email. Like, um, like she has her Gmail over here, but like on mine, for example, like if you kind of like, here's my, my personal page, everything is one name. It just, it just oh, yeah. looks better. Right. It just it just stands out. That's that's all. I mean, if we're trying to build a brand, it's like shit. That's there. there it starts there. Like there's the basics. Right. And that's just I'm just saying that's what everyone misses. But if you come to my business page over here, um, all the links you'll see in the intro as well, right here at the top in the about section. But what I what I have is I don't have a Gmail. I do have a Gmail. Actually, I do have a Gmail. But what the public sees is they see my my business email, David at Inspired Digital dot com. And if you email that, it goes to my Gmail. Okay. So, 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 you, so we can link it. We could create. A- oh yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. You can, you can, you can forward it is what it is. You can forward it as long as you own the .com 
And I know through GoDaddy, you can just set up email forwarding. And, and that's what I have. Like I have, I have, you know, I just have email forwarding. It simply goes to my, my Gmail and I check all my email through my Gmail, you know, but, but there <laughs> goes all the links right there. And again, everything is just one name. So that's what I call step one, Kev. That's what I call step one. And then, and then going back to Candy, so I can show you an example real quick again on her business page. This is step two. This is what we need to do sooner than later before the intro video. Let's do this one first. Um, when I come to Kevin's page, again, Kevin, here's the thing about social media. We don't know each other. Like just because we're friends on Facebook or whatever, and you got, you got these people on your, on your, on your Facebook friend list, ain't nobody know Kev, unless mm -hmm. they're your friends from school, unless they're your neighbor, unless you break and bread with them, unless it's someone that you, your family, your cousins, like you got a handful of people on your personal Facebook page that you actually physically know. But again, as we're scaling up that number, most of us that are building a business, we're trying to take that number through the roof. You're trying to have 17,000 people on Instagram following you. Well, at the end of the day, ain't nobody can even know me. So it's like, not only do they not live in my area, like I've been talking about, but they don't even know me. So when it comes to, when it comes to our brand, here's another thing that stands out. I come to Kevin's page. I see 26 likes. I come to Candy's page. I see 3,500. I don't know Candy. I don't know Kevin. Mm -hmm. I'm just a random ass person, right? That just happened to be friends with you guys on Facebook or social media. I don't even know. Nobody even know each other. But I'm just over here assuming that Candy is crushing it. I'm over here thinking Kevin might have just got started. When you could be the 15-year vet, she's the three-month rookie, but we don't know that. Correct. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what I call step two. After looking at thousands and thousands of pages, man, business pages, real estate agents specifically, again, since 2016, I don't mean, I don't mean to keep saying that, but it is what it is. It's that real. I've seen them all. 99.9% .9 of them have 200 likes. So when I come to yours, show me 2,000, right? Just stand out. You don't need, I mean, I got 10,000 on mine. You don't need that many at all. This is as high as it really gets for an agent. You won't find too many unless, unless you're coming across a broker's page, like maybe Coldwell, and they've been promoting that business page for the past 17 years on Facebook. Maybe they got 17,000 people or 77,000 people, but they're the main brand. But an individual, you'll never see anyone with, with, with this many, like at all, at all, like maybe one out of, out of 300 people that you'll look at, you know? Um, so that's just a part of the brand as well. When, when an individual comes here, show them a bigger number. All that is, is perception. That's all it is, but it's important for our brand. I want you to come on my page, think I'm the shit, right? Like, mm -hmm. and that's worth the, the first ad that's worth the few bucks to take it up, you know? And that's why like over here on my, on, on my page, you come over here, you click on my, on my personal page, you click on my name, go to my business page. And then a person, again, ain't nobody know me. I don't, no, nobody knows me. But when they come here and they see 10,000, they're like, holy shit, okay, maybe this guy's doing something right. That's all that is, is perception, man. For all, for all they know, I just started the damn thing. They don't know that, right? Well, so how do, you get to, how do you get those numbers? A simple like ad, a simple Facebook ad, bro. A simple Facebook ad, a simple Facebook ad. So, um let's do this. Let's, um, let, let, let's, let's run that ad. Let's run that ad. Let's spend this time real quick. And let's, let's get that ad started. Do we have any budget right now? A few bucks to put towards an ad? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's just run this ad. I'm gonna blow your mind with this ad. And this isn't, this is a one-time ad. Like it's not an ad you're going to run all the time. It's not an ad that, that, that is even, you know, targeted. It's a very untargeted ad. It's a very broad, we're going to throw a, we're going to throw a huge net and, and just target one keyword and just get thousands of people to like us, like like the page real quick. It's just to get the ad account going. It's so Facebook can start noticing traction on the account, and it's just to it's just to bring life to the page. It's a one time ad. We'll run it for maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks, if that, um, and just spark the page real quick. Um, and then well, after I just, that, I, I just thought about something. Um, let, let's hold off on that. And here, here's the reason why, because I like to do things the right way, right? Yes. I understand what you're saying. Yes. But, um, I can't perform any real estate activities probably for the next 48 hours or so on, um, until, until I sign up with a new broker. Okay. Okay. So I would prefer um, if once yes. I'm situated, then we do that because um, 
what we what, what you're saying is probably not illegal or wrong, but the the point is is it's all that good. Yep. They're, they're coming to a page that's that's probably invalid because mm -hmm. I'm I'm not. I just switched brokerages and I, I didn't complete the process onboarding process yet. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I just want to do things the right way. At least, in sure. my, that's, at least that's my opinion. I, yes. Oh I'm, yeah, for sure. No, I'm with it. I'm with it. We'll, we'll do that then. Let's talk in a, let's talk in a couple of days and, and that should be our, our next call is let's run the like ad and just get a few thousand. And in the meantime, what you, what you should be doing also. So here's a little bit of homework, a little, a little bit of homework okay. is, is number one, Think of that one name you're going to use for everything. Now we're going to, I'm going to stick with buyer sell with Kevin. Um, so okay. I just have to switch Instagram. Just, just make sure it's not, it's not available. You know, make sure it's not actually that is that the name we, we checked the first time or did we check? Yeah, we did check buyer sell with Kev. So here's what you also want to do. Let's, let's go one step further and let's just check to see if the dot com is is available because if that dot com is not available then then we're not going that route you're gonna have to think of something different um buy or sell with kevin.com look at that it's available for 750 bucks man you ain't gonna buy that so um what about i mean what about our dot net is down here and then uh, scroll got, down a bit. You got you got dot net? Okay. No, yeah. Just Buy or sell with dot. Kevin dot net. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um buy with Kevin dot com or bad actually that's that's only buying. Buy or sell with Kevin dot shop dot info dot me. Yeah, there's there's some to choose from. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So we don't necessarily need the dot com. You can grab you can grab something different, but, but what grab about this that. one here? This is buy sell with Kevin dot online at the bottom. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Buy or sell with Kevin dot online. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's a really good one too, man. That's a really really good one. Everything is online, man. Everything is online. Buy or sell with Kevin dot online. In fact, I just purchased like four online ones the other day. Um. So an online one's not bad. So here's, here's, so yeah. So that's what you want to do then is grab, grab that, grab that from, from GoDaddy. Um, okay. And then, and then get that. So that's, that, that's number one is, is let's get, all you're going to do is log into all these social media platforms. Just log into all of them. Like with LinkedIn, um, you'll just simply come over here to your profile. Let me show you where it's at. So if you just come over here and, and, and click on, click on, well, it's right here, edit public profile. So if you click on that, it's going to straight bring you to this section right here where you can, you can change it. And it's right here, personalize your URL. So see, so all I did is I hit that little pencil and I put in my custom name. Okay. And then select save, right? That's it. That's it. And then, and then the same thing for, for the Instagram. And then what you'll want to do is that that name is too long for Twitter, so you may have to just leave Twitter out. But um, but for sure, get a Pinterest up too, man. Even if you don't know one damn thing about Pinterest, even if you'll never pin anything ever, still lock the name. We need to lock that name. And so when it comes to Pinterest, hundreds of millions of people are over here, man, every single month, hundreds of millions of people. So the, the, these females, these older females that be on the market as well, they're over here pinning stuff on Pinterest. Like my wife, my wife over here pinning stuff on Pinterest. Don't know one damn thing about Facebook, but she know everything about Pinterest, mm -hmm. right? And that, 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 that's a 40-year-old woman that could possibly be selling or buying someday, right? Over here, Pinterest. So when you come in here, it's just clicking on this, going to settings, and then you'll see the username. All you're going to do is just, is just put in your username right there. Um, and then you already have the Facebook. And so you're, you're, you're good with that. You're good. You're good with the Facebook page. And then, and then again, so you said you do have that Gmail or you don't have that Gmail. Uh, no, I don't No. Okay. Yeah. My, grab, my, my... grab the Gmail. I, I'd grab the Gmail if I were you buy or sell with Kevin at Gmail. Now okay. that won't be a name that you necessarily brand. Like I wouldn't recommend putting that name up here. I would recommend getting 
first get the dot first get the get the get the domain and then you can turn that into the email and then you could just simply forward it to your to your um to your new email or you could just or 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 if it's brandon just like with with candy you know she she has the gmail and and she's listing the gmail and 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 the gmail it, it matches with everything else so i mean if you can go that route you can go that route too then as long as it's matching just grab the gmail for the heck of it just grab it just in case okay buy or sell with kevin at gmail okay so so that's homework assignment number one and then and then homework number, assignment number two is to work on the intro work on that intro video okay and i'm telling you kev i don't know how how you are with camera as far as like shy or or whatever like bro ain't nobody know you like when we run this ad it's going to a cold market like yeah. you might think you've been no, in that no, area don't forever. worry about the video it's gonna be very nice don't it's gonna good, be bro. good good keep it simple is what i'm nice, trying to say but Good. what's important for me is to target the five cities, see how it see how it does, see if we're getting traction, and then come back and retarget. And then every yep. my plan my plan is every Monday to put out something. Good. And Good. then on Fridays I have uh, something I'm creating called Freedom Fridays. And the, the idea about Freedom Fridays is, is I follow a specific eating plan during the week. Ooh. So I'm going to go to certain restaurants on Fridays mm -hmm. by lunch and feature the lunch and then just do a quick video about real estate in that market. So, for I example, oh, I love there's, there's a Jamaican restaurant in Hawthorne. I'm just going to go there five minutes when I pick up my food, take a video of the, the ox sales and then quickly talk about the Hawthorne mar market and then take that video okay. and send it out to the Hawthorne area. Okay. So here's the deal, Kev. Here's the here's the icing on the cake. I love how you're 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 thinking, and I love the strategy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here's the icing on the cake. Okay. Here's the call to action. There always has to be a call to action. What every agent does, their call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, feel free to give me a call or send me a message or maybe comment below. Like that that that's the random social media call to action. Call me. My number is listed. Call me. Is like, ain't nobody calling you? So so what we got to do is those would be great ads as well. Like those would be phenomenal ads, your, your Friday videos with a call to action. So at the end of the video, Correct. even if it's not an ad, even if it's not an ad at the end of the video, and actually, no, I would, I would highly recommend it being an ad, but here's the call well, to action. My, my plan for that is because people, people are about uh, peaking interest. Yes. So for example, that person might not be thinking about buying in Hawthorne, mm -hmm. but if I end the video and say for a free list of vacant homes or remodeled homes in the Hawthorne area, click here and then send them to my IDX feed or maybe have, have the list already prepared and it just goes to their, uh, goes to their information, wherever it needs to go, they, they download it, you know? That, that, that's where we're at. So oh, actually that's where we'll be at is that landing page. Right. So, so that's, that's the million dollar question is what, what landing page software or what web page are you, are you trying to take them to? Because well, that's the most important, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we cross it. But, okay. but, but most, most, most web pages that I've seen from agents are, are not the right one. So, okay. so I end up always having to recommend the other one, Kartra, for example, because everything else there, out there ain't, 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 ain't the one for it, for ads, for for targeting. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cross there when we cross it, but we'll need something to, to give out. So either, yeah, either you're giving out a free buyer list or you're giving out a buyer or seller guide. That was the call to action. So yeah. So the call to action is always by giving away, click the button below, you know, and, and you could be at that restaurant doing your damn thing, talking about it and, and, and giving out all this great information and that call to action. Hey, and by the way, guys, if you like a buyer list, click the link below, it'll take you straight to my web page. So for example, this would be, this would be a, a, a page. So I'm seeing that as a Facebook ad targeting my local area. They click on it. They come straight to a page like this. Welcome to the Los Angeles homes under 900 K list. Some of these homes even qualify for special financing. Rush me the list ASAP. That's how you nice. capture a lead, bro. That's yes. how you capture a lead. It ain't going to go to your broker's website. It ain't going to go into your IDX and all of a sudden you're sending them 15 listings. It's like, no, what, like, like what, what takes place on the back end? So, um, um, click out from this one right here. So when that person comes here and they opt in, 
they end up going, it's a two page. That's all it is, man. It takes two pages. Page number one, the landing page, they opt in, send me the list. They end up going to the second page. This is the thank you page. Now it's these two simple pages that are the most important for Facebook advertising. And I'm telling you right now, I don't think your webpage does it. I've seen them all. Now I could yeah. be wrong. You could have, you know, a webpage where it does take me to a second well, my, page. Uh, my question but, is, um, how does the um, how does the list being generated on the back end? Be because um, the MLS have an IDX uh, site. Yes. Do we do we have to create a PDF version and then upload it to no. Kartra? No. How, how not not at all. Once that so so what just happened right now is the lead was just captured. Now that lead is in my Kartra CRM. That lead is now sitting over here. Watch for example. I just opted into my own damn page. I'll see my name right here. So look, this is the lead that just came in. This is the lead that just came in. And so mm -hmm. as I click on that lead, I can click on the lead. I could put notes. I could tag them. I can, I can see what list they opted into. So they, they, they opted into the buyer list. I can see if they're, on, they're in any, any sequences, which is the automated emails that go out the moment they opted in. So to answer your question, this first email that goes out, that was the automated email that goes out right away. I could, I could say, hey, hey, Dave, thank you so much for opting in and, 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 and inquiring on a buyer list. Click here to, to be taken straight to the list. And that could be your IDX link, for example, or that could be any so MLS. That's not my concern because, again, everything needs to be automated and set up in advance. Yeah. So, yep. so when they take action, mm -hmm. we, we, we just get the desired result. Yeah, yeah. So that lead, I could take them. I again, capturing the lead is number one. That's the most important. And then, and then number two is the back end, which could be a simple email. I send a simple email, automate a simple email, and I can have them go anywhere after that. I could take it to my website. I could take them wherever I want after I capture the lead. Mm -hmm. So that that's that, that's why the front end, that lead, that web page, that landing page, the landing page, the thank you page. That's what I've yet to see a real estate agent have from their brokerage. Is is those two pages, and 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 the re another reason why those two pages are so important is because as I go to the landing page again, when you're running Facebook ads, taking you back to the landing page, they saw your video. You're at you're at some taco shop talking about how how amazing the burritos are, and 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 they click, they come here. Some are gonna opt in, some are not. So that's why that Facebook pixel has to be on this page because I'm going to retarget those who did not opt in. That's number right. one. And then number two, the ones who actually opt in, they land over here. Now what I'm going to have to, now what I'm going to do for sure is those who land on this link, this is a completely different link. My Facebook pixel is also tracking these people. So here's what happens in Facebook. We create a custom audience. Those mm -hmm. who have landed on this page are quote unquote, leads. Now, as I go run future ads, because I'm going to keep doing this every Friday, I'm going to be at another, another jump off every Friday. As I go and run that next ad next Friday, I'm, I'm going to always make sure to exclude those who landed here because they're already leaving, right? They don't need to keep seeing my ad. They've already opted in. They don't need to keep seeing my videos. They've already opted in. So now if I ever want them to see anything else in the future, I email it to them. So I'll email them as, as they're already a lead and I drop another video next Friday. Hey guys, check out this video. I just dropped on my Facebook. Hey, you guys are going to love it. Click here. And that's an email. I'm not paying no more to get them to see my ads. I'm excluding them from I ads. See. I'm now going to email them. Right? So, so that's and why the email, the email can be sent from Kartra as well. Heck yeah, bro. Are you kidding me? Kartra is the most important because it's the landing page software. It's the email autoresponder and it's the online calendar. As these emails start to go out automatically on Kevin's behalf, directing them to wherever the heck we want to direct them. In the email, there's a link to our calendar. That's the most important. I want people to be getting emails on my, on my behalf all day, every day with a link to my calendar. I don't want to be, uh, you know, I want people to automate. I want to, I want, I want to wake up every day to damn appointments. You know, that's what starts to happen. So as we start to fill the funnel and people are receiving emails every day, you're going to have a mm -hmm. handful of them that are actually scheduling appointments, clicking on Correct. the link, you know, clicking on your link in the email. 
And that link in the email is not some random link in your email signature. It's not some random link in the PS of your email. It's a freaking real call to action. Hey, Dave, and by the way, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to give you all my secret strategies on what it takes to buy in Los Angeles in 2021. Click the link below, take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. And hey, and don't forget to, to check email number, you know, coming out tomorrow. I got another email coming out. You're going to love it. Talk to you soon. Dude. You know, it's like a real, every email, I'm trying to get them to schedule a call, you know, it, it, but, but again, I'm not, it's not, it's not send me your phone number. It's not reply to the email. It's click the link, go schedule a call. Correct. You know, automating the appointment as well. You know, so, so that, that, that's the long-term approach. I think we, we, we accomplished a lot today. I'm glad the direction we're heading. Yes, man. But um, I got to run because I have another call, another. um, Yes. Work on the links, work on the links and practice your intro video or or get it done. And and then, and then let's, let's talk again. And on our next call, we'll run the like ad. Okay. And possibly the intro video if, if you're ready with it as well. Okay. Cool. All right, Kev, have a good one, boss. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.